Hi! This video is going to be a bit of a remix of the different tutorials of the cell classification density maps because that's what's making sense to me right now. And I'm already getting some of the frustration and anticipatory dread, so I'm, I'm trying to make things work for me so that I don't get unmotivated and quit. Okay, I'm going to copy this to my other screen, open up QPath, we're still with the same image. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the cell detection again. Hi, future Laura here. I'm speeding this up because we have already covered this, but if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link here and you can go check it out. Okay, and, and one thing we didn't do before, we looked at this. Show detection measurements. We looked at this, right? But you can also visualize this in a nicer way with colors. So if you do measure, show measurement maps, you can select whatever variable you want to see, so area, and change whatever color you want to use for the visualization. And you'll be able to see the variability of the area of each cell within this region. Apparently, the nucleus to cell area ratio is important to differentiate to tumor cells because it's higher in tumor cells. So this particular variable would be very useful to visualize in this way. And we can also do, we can calculate additional features. Um, we've selected all of them already, I think. I don't think we can calculate more than we have already, but we can do this. And smooth out the features and then update map. And nothing has changed. working for me. Am I just not in the right place? Okay, I'm back. I thought that I was doing it over an area that was too small. Um, it wasn't. It is that you get actual new measurements and you need to select the new measurement, which is here. And then you can actually see the smoothed map, which makes a lot of sense. So yeah, just do that, but actually select the, the new variable that you want to see. Okay, um, so now that we know how to do that, we're supposed to learn how to create a classifier to decide between tumor and stroma cells. I have no idea how to annotate that. Presumably, this map should help me but I don't really know how to annotate whether something is a tumor or not. So I'm just gonna wing it with this. Okay, this could be tumor, this could be tumor, and then right click, say tumor. Why did you disappear? Tumor, why are you disappearing? Have I, what have I done? Why did I lose all the objects? Or, oh, crap. okay. Good. Okay, well, let's do some stroma. Mm, this looks like a stroma. And this. Okay, go back to that. Okay. So now, how do we create a classifier? Right, classify of the classification. Train. Detection classifier. Mm. Okay. 
Um, do I see? Do I? Uh, ah, okay. I clicked here, and it appeared. I'm gonna close this. Okay, so this is the classification of tumor cells and stromal cells that a random trees classifier has decided to create based on the four annotations I made. I think that if I make more annotations, you can um, improve it or correct it. So somewhere where it might have made a mistake, let's look for stained cells that have been classified as stromal. There are quite a few here, but I, I do think that leaves that is strong. Yeah. What's this? Pass it is lighter to zero. Helpful. I should have looked at this before going crazy. Okay. Well, okay. So we have trained a classifier for Ki67. Presumably we can say that yes. Ki67 test. Save. I've saved it. And now if I wanted to use it again, where is it? Classify object classify. Oh, what was I doing? Right, because I'm classifying objects, not pixels. Um, load object classifier, and then it's here. Cool. What else can we do now? So apparently, we need to apply an intensity classification now. Classify object classification. Set cell intensity classification. Why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. Mm. We're using Nucleus Dab OD mean as a feature. Oh, we can see the histogram here. Wait, can I make this bigger? Nope. There's 0.0633, but I can move it. Oh, things are happening. Why are things happening? Oh, I'm reclassifying the cells based on the dab intensity. And I do that after classifying them as tumor or not. Why? If I decrease the threshold, all cells are dab positive. And if I decrease it, then we start losing cells, particularly in the stromal areas. Why can't I? change the opacity or do anything while I have this on. I don't like that. So I'm supposed to move this until I find a threshold that matches the tumor classification. But I can't see. Let's try again at a higher resolution. You might have noticed that there are three intensity thresholds available. If you're a pro and can actually differentiate the staining strength of the cells, you can use these thresholds to categorize them into negative, weak, moderate, or strongly positive. And if you do this, QBath will calculate the age scores. I guess this is an acceptable threshold. There's still going to be stained cells outside the purely tumoral areas. So you can have like infiltrating things aren't you? Maybe I need to know what are tumoral areas and what are stromal areas um, to be able to understand this better. Right now I'm not sure I 100% understand, but at least I know how to do it. And now we have, oh, we have new measurements here, depending on the class of stromal and tumor. And if you create a smaller annotation like this, it yeah, it updates live. Good. And what happens if now I create a density map? Now that I have all this information, how do I make a density map? It says this is the starting point for a density map. So I have this. Now we need to do analyze density map, create a density map. And choose, oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of information lots of noise um create density map object type all detections main class tumor okay um, secondary class stroma or not density radius 
So it's kind of like this missing idea of the pixels, isn't it? Like a positive, yeah, looks like that. How can I stop seeing the other ones? Ah, like that, okay, in here. I click here, I stop seeing the object annotations, and now I can see the hotspots. Oh, okay. Okay. And this will help you locate problem areas. This tutorial says the density map is effectively a lower resolution image in which each pixel relates to the density of objects within a defined radius. This can be used to find areas containing high density of those objects. Yep, makes sense. Right, so they're not two separate class classes, it's one class on top of the other. So now these are two detections of positive cells. And then if you do any, you get all of them, not just the positive ones. Okay. Oh, and you can customize appearance. Okay. Okay, this is basically how much background you get to see. So by area, each pixel, oh, it says here, that's very small. So by area means that each pixel in the density map represents the number of chosen objects within the defined radius. Gaussian weighted means local densities are calculated using a weighted sum. This makes the exact values within the maps harder to interpret, but may be useful in some cases if the density map is used to generate older objects. Okay. And then object percentage. Local densities are calculated by taking the number of objects within the radius that have both the main class and the secondary class. Oh, I need a secondary class for this one. Hmm. Okay, that makes a difference. In all cases, the radius is defined in calibrated units. And in the first two types of densities are normalized by area, and the last type, they're normalized by objects. And so we can use the object percentage to calculate a local KI67 labeling index. Ah, okay, so this would be it's a map of the percentage of tumor cells that are classified as positive. And it advises you to save it. So KI67 density map, save. Oh, and once you save it, you get new options. You can automatically find hotspots. How is it? Okay, and that would relate. Oh, cancel. No. Okay, so this is the image we have. Take a picture to compare it to. And then if we do find hotspots. We can see, okay, they correlate with the purplish violet areas. The more objects that you need for a hotspot to be hotspot, the smaller the hotspots. Okay, and then what? If I apply it, hotspot one. Is that all? No, I must have done something wrong. Delete. Ah, uh, I can. Okay, I can toggle with this. Good. If I increase this, why do I only get one? I don't want this one. I want them all. Show them to me. Why not? Uh, now I have more hotspots. I needed to unselect the density peaks only. Now I have this hotspot, so I can go back to. Okay, I'm missing one here, I'd say. No. One here. One here. Let's try the threshold option. Ah, okay. Hmm. No. Oh, okay, I have this tumor positive annotation. Okay. That corresponds with the density map. I could export it as well. Okay, I don't want to do this. Okay, I'm left slightly confused, but I know how to do the things. 
I think I just need to use them in practice to actually understand what I'm doing because right now I am quite confused. I'm sure I've learned lots. I hope you've learned something as well. See you in the next video. <laughs>